Buenas tardes, Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh, this the double up. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I said the double up. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Wes Watson fits the bubble up. Bye up, bye up, bye up. Or as you can tell by that thumbnail, <laughs> right there, right? The Hoop Master, you know, four finger Wes. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately, and Wes Watson seems to be popping up a lot more lately, but he's different. See, he's a different character from the character he portrayed in the beginning. You know, in the beginning, it was all positivity. It was all ram shit up your ass and do it with a closed fist, right? It was all fabrication and a lot of lies. There was some truth to some of his feels, but at the same time, in the meantime, in between time, come on, man, those of us know what's up. Now, this individual definitely, and I mean definitely, right? Says some real outlander stuff. Talk about the power of Grayskull and my energy. Wakes people up in the dorm. And they didn't whack you? Come on now, stop it. Just let that go. In a Manula style, in a direct fashion, man, he's been on a different tip lately. Now, he's all up in the gym with about five or six heads. He's showing people that he has a mansion. He's making $2 million a month. He's got Lamborghinis. Am I mad at him? Absolutely not. E over to see that what was doing his thing thing, right? You can't be mad at the situation, but at the same damn time, right? When you're a content creator, when you're on YouTube, people expect some realness. They expect no fabrication. They expect some details, some results. They expect some facts, right? And when your shit is just a little too much, so scared, can I get some tapatio? Come on, wood. When you're putting a little too much tapatio on it, a little too much chili garlic sauce, well, guess what's going to happen, homes? People are going to start to recognize that. And I recognized your filth, Wes, a long time ago. Now, let me tell you something about Wes Watson. Indubitably, he's making his money. Why? Because people like me and you, the consumers, we consume the shit. Every time he drops something, I watch it, right? And I watch it not because I'm believing in what he's spewing and speaking, but because it's funny. <laughs> I mean, I want to see exactly what this vato got to say. What's the next thing? So I'm scared. Hey, I call my primo. Hey, fool. Hey, 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 watch out, watch out. <laughs> hey, did you see that about the West drop a new one? Yeah, Holmes. He's talking about a bundle the size of a fucking mayonnaise jar. Uh-huh. Yeah, the big jar. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Miracle Whip. Yeah, uh -huh. he's getting his Miracle Whip on. He's talking about ram it up in school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big hour. Loved him, huh? Finger sucking for reals. Trip out, man. This is the one man that I know on YouTube that got rich and famous over talking about sticking things in your ass. Now... Plenty of YouTubers, plenty of prison YouTubers, plenty of people that content create and speak on situations that they've really been in, speak on sales that they've done, yards that they've walked, um, just a lot about of this and a little bit of that. But at the same time, in a menudo style, it's all realness. You can't take nothing away from these people. Even these fools that think they're hardcore and they got a lot of trash and shit to talk about, they've actually been on yards. No one will ever take that from them. They've actually been where they say they've been. They've actually done exactly what they said they've done. You know, but when it comes to this guy, um, some of the things just don't mean the eye. Some of these things just don't make any fucking damn sense, right? And I'm just going to be real, gente. You know, um, the only guy that I know to walk the yarda straight up on a dorm, level two, with a whole, but with a whole many jars in his ass, right? A many jar in his ass. And then game, what's that? Guard! You ever seen that before? Oh, you have. Have you? Or it's Benson. Maybe, maybe he's telling the truth. Look at Four Finger West. Let me tell you something. Um, I've been on plenty of yardas. Been around the block in the 6'4 many a times, Holmes. And at no point in time did I ever put this much in the culo, right? I mean, I'm, I put it in hers, but it was never in mine, right? Now, when you say, you know, that there's certain situations where you do have to, you know, uh, Sasuke, you got to do it, right? I understand. But there's a video. And this is a miraculous video. This video right here set the tone for everything that Svalto was going to spew and spit from then till now, right? This video was so outlandish and so crazy, I couldn't do nothing but watch it three or four times. I couldn't believe it. You know, I couldn't believe that a grown man, someone that had the, a physical specimen like himself, someone that was all about his body and all about positivity and all about speaking and spitting realness and all about get your ass up and go to work, someone that was doing all that would talk like this. Now, we all know what's up with Whack 100, right? Three Finger Whack, you know what I mean? We all know about him. But Four Finger West was on a whole nother level, right? Oh, hell nah. He was on oh, hell nah level, right? He was to the max, super max, right? This, I've never even been to super max. This vault really, 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 
really did this, right? So I'm watching one of his videos. It's a throwback. It just pops up on the screen. It's got like 350,000 views. I'm like, damn, he's doing it like that. So I was like, I need to catch up. Shit, I got a tomato in my back pocket. There we go, Heinz, right? I'm trying to get it, trying to get some knowledge that they can't get in college. Um, but the knowledge that I received from this video, um, I want my 30 minutes back, what? Or am I saying whack, West? West whack, whack West. I need my fucking 30 back. Can I get my 30 fortifies? Because I wasted 30 whole god darn minutes of my life on this, right? This vato was different, gente. This vato said, I'm going to tell you what you're supposed to hoop and how you're supposed to hoop it. You need to keep your paperwork on at all times. It has to be on your person. He's absolutely right. It doesn't have to be on your person at all times. If you go to a new place, of course, they're going to ask you for it. Yeah, sometimes when you're transferred to a spot, you might have to hoop it. You know what I mean? You might have to just produce it on point, right? That's facts. But you're not going to put this much paperwork. So I said, this about to say, I got my whole transcript. I got my whole C file, my ass. I got all the documents from the court. I got every 128G to every place I've ever been. And it's all in one bundle. And it's right here. I said, God damn. Four fingers. Two twisted in the middle, right? West side. This Vato definitely, definitely took the initiative to push, right? But it was the way he said it, Hente, that tripped me out. See, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been in positions and I've been in spots where I had to. Slipping into darkness. Anyone that's ever been on a four or three yard will tell you that's just the fucking way it goes. Spend some Latina, man. I know it's not a great thing to talk about. I know people are going to feel some type of way and DM me later. So, damn, gun. But it just is what it is. I said, one pack of cigarettes and a pedazo. Let's go, right? That's just how it was. But at the end of the day, right, there's ways to do it, ways not to do it. This Vato actually literally explained the way to do it. Now, trip out. The way he explained, the explanation was not real. It was real to him, and maybe that is the way he did it. But it wasn't real to me. The brown man don't march on like that, brother. I'm going to tell you that right off the tippy top, right? This Vato said, you, you wrap the bundle up. This was the funny part. Watch out. Real ones know what's up, right? You know, you guys already know, right? They about to said, you take the saran wrap from the sandwich. If there's mustard and mayonnaise on it, you just wipe it off with a towel. Oh, all right. Just, just wipe it off with a towel, huh? It's cool. You're going to have mustard ass. Not mustard gas, but maybe mustard gas too, right? That guy's going to be smelling like a whole mustard seed in that camp, right? He said, you just wipe it off, right? Because it's cool. You can use it for lube. I was like, uh, to which degree of mustard? Pardon me. Hey, Sally, do you have any grape coupon? Right? To which degree of mustard are you using to put up your asshole? Right? I don't know. Right? But Spencer, this is his story. We're going to let him tell it. So anyways, he said, then you just wipe it off with the towel. Nah, you don't put it no water on it and clean it and be safe. And you know, nah, 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 none of that. Just wipe it off, eh? With the same towel, the sweaty ass towel you used from doing dips on the yada. That, that towel, that one towel, you know, the same one that he hasn't washed for a week. Anyway, so he wipes it off. You know what I mean? Straight hurt on it. Now he takes it. And he throws the bundle that's this big inside of it and just wraps it three times. I said, okay, also oh, use three pieces of SRAM wrap. Okay, okay, now we're getting there. I used to use five, six, seven, right? But three pieces, okay, I understand. He says, no, you took that one SRAM wrap because you don't got a lot to deal with. You ain't got a lot to work with. See, we got to get everything we got. He's not talking about the oil. He's talking about a level one or a level two dorm where there's fucking saran wrap everywhere, where they'll give you, if you go up to the desk and ask the placard, they'll give you a whole fucking roll, right? This vato says, you don't got a lot. Okay, all right, who are you fooling, magician, right? Now you now I see you, now we don't. Now we see the manage jar, now we don't, right? Miracle whip. This vato takes it and says, you just roll it, right? The way he did it too, he didn't roll it, that dang, I ain't about to get it ready because I just can't put it over the candle. You know what the deal is, right? No, this vato just rolled it, like he was fucking making tortillas, right? <laughs> He got his roll on, like he was betting. He's like, you just roll it like this, right? So I was, he started looking at his pecs and shit, or looking at his traps. You see those? Right? <laughs> That's crazy, right? He turns everything into his body. We'll get to that in a second, though. So anyway, the Vato rolls it up, and then he goes, and now you grab it. Two hands, not one hand. And now you grab it. You make sure your celly's not looking, because if your celly's looking, you might have to beat him up. Then you take it. And gently, all right, it was at the point he said gently. I said, okay, okay, all right. All right now it's going to get real. He says, you gently place it there. Once you fill it open, you run that motherfucker in your ass. I said, oh, hell no. What is going on here? I don't know what yard that you were on. I don't know to what degree of level two they're doing this at. Spence on Latira. Hey, shout out to the city of McFarland, but your prison on the level one. They be doing crazy shit. I don't know what exactly this guy was trying to get people to do. Um, but I'm sure it wasn't going to be comfortable. Anyways, he says, then I work out. Then I go out there to work out and I keep it on me at all times, right? 
He said, I, I don't even pull it off the shot, I just shit around it. I was like, oh man, that's a real one right there. That one just chowed her ever, right? It was at this point I knew something was wrong with, with um, Wes Watson, with four finger Wes, right? It takes all four fingers to cram it. Because I've been in positions where you have to secure things. And never once did I did the word ram ever come up, period, unless we were watching a fucking football game while doing it and the Rams were winning. Never once ever did I did that ever come to my mind until this Vato said it and I said, nah, uh, I'm not gonna go that route. And I, I choose not to. First of all, I ain't trying to go back to the pinta, but if I ever did for one other reason than another, right? I would never, the word Rams out of my vocabulary. I don't even like the LA Rams anyways, just because of that. So I was scared. I used to like Eric Dickerson, but as soon as he said that, I said, fuck Eric Dickerson and Flipper Anderson, period, right? I ain't going that route. Order to Todd Gurney, get the fuck on, right? I, I'm cool. Anyways, this guy goes on to say this. Then he goes on to talk about Oklahoma. Talking about how he was involved in this big riot in Oklahoma and he witnessed the Southsiders do this and the Southsiders do that. And always speaking on different groups and organizations, like if he was like just hella cool with them and he really wiggled, right? Mm -mm. That's not to be the case, right? Because I have a primo that was actually in Oklahoma with Wes Watson. <laughs> Yeah, you hold. Trip out. He told me the true story, the real story. I got the really dilly, the chilly willy, right? He told me exactly what it is and exactly what that Volta was doing, and he was doing nothing of the sort. That Volta wasn't even hitting the yacht out there. He was ducking, dodging, bobbing, and weaving. Look, big Volta, intimidating Volta. You see him, veins popped out in his earlobes. You're like, oh, shit, look at that guy. He's crazy looking. He's all tacked out down. But really take a closer look at his tattoos, man. He represents his city well. Shout out to the city of San Diego, man. Real ones stand up, right? But at the end of the day... A lot of these outlandish lies he told, people ran with. Now, I get a lot, when I make a video about West, uh, uh, Four Finger West, I get a lot, say what's your chance? I get a lot of ridicule, a lot of hate. People say, why are you hating on him? Why are you talking shit? Because I can, that's it, but I'm not hating. I'm just stating facts, man. I'm having fun while doing it. I'm going to roast him like a fucking roasted red pepper. Because at the end of the day, a lot of the stuff he says is frivolous lies. Let's just be real. Let's be real. Okay, there's a lot of content creators I might disagree with or I might agree with, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and call them bona fide liars. I'm not going to sit here and, and tell them that they're fucking... He said it! I didn't say it. He said he was slapping shit up to that. Anyways, so after we get done with that, he's doing the Oklahoma spill. I listened to it, called my primo, but my primo said, ah, you know what I mean? Gong, gong show. That never happened. It didn't come out like that. It was like this, it was like that, like that. And uh, okay, cool, right? And my primo... Is a South Sider. So he was definitely involved in some shit. Yes, indeed. He wrote graffiti all over that bus, right? So now I knew for sure, because at first I was like, well, maybe, maybe, you know, the woods are different. You know, maybe he does ram it up his ass. I don't know how he did it, right? That was good. His, diff hey, his, the way he rocks, the way we rock is totally different. So I don't know, right? But I've never heard this before. But again, this is YouTube and everyone's here for entertainment. To what degree of Bud Lightion entertainment you're into, I don't know, right? I I'm not into the binary entertainment. But at the same time, I'm not hating on the man. Do your thing. Yes, if that's what fills your boat, then fill it up. Right? Big Al would have been proud. Now, when this guy's talking about he was a shot caller in certain places, he ran yards at certain places, he had the keys to certain places, um, to what, a one or a two yard? Who doesn't? You drive your own ramp right there, man. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I've never been there, man, but I've had people that were, right? And they told me, man, it ain't all that. Don't act like you're over there on a level four yard functioning, right? You're not doing nothing of the sort, man. You're in a dorm kicking back with a fan on you, watching your little flat screen TV. The price is wrong, bitch. That's exactly what's going down, right? Yeah, there might be a little bit of functioning. I ain't going to take it from the two yard. People that have been there, there is a little action, man. Vaultals will get off. There's crazy vaultals from everywhere that go everywhere. Hey, you can't tell them what your points are and what you're, where you're going. They just place you wherever you want. But most vaultals that are about that action bounce from the level too quick because they catch something. Mm, I'm gone. So I was getting level four. Here I come. You know, a little shoot term one time for his mind. Now, some of the things he said, like I said, were so flagrant fouls. Blow the whistle. Right? That I was like, come on, man. Even the guard. Guard. Oh, he's full of shit. See, even the guard said it. Fill it up with unleaded. Now, one thing that is not fake. One thing that is that, well, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. One thing that is not fake is he absolutely made a ton of money. He's made a lot of money off our views of people that were manipulated into buying his plan of action to do good. Um, this vault is not G.I. Joe, and he definitely don't got the Kung Fu grip, or maybe he does. I've never ran into one of his cellies, so I don't know. But one thing I know for sure is he definitely speaks a good game, a great motiv motivational speaker. That's his calling. He does that. In fact, I once did a, a reaction video to when he said, 
I was working out at one in the morning and the aura and the power was waking up everybody. And they were just shaking in their beds like with a fucking earthquake in Khalifas, right? And no one ever said nothing or did nothing about it. It was just on like Donkey Kong. And that, that's what it is. And I said to myself, okay, self, four finger fucking West is at it again. Frivolous lies. Let me tell you something, man, being a real one. If you wake other people up because you're over there bullshitting or being loud or your aura and your power is just manifesting itself into their brains and waking them up, you are going to get whacked. You're not going to be four finger west. You're going to be four finger whack or three finger whack. I can't call it like an alcoholic. All I know is for sure, Valtos are going to be like, come here. And they're not going to have it in the culo. They might, but they won't, right? Saz. And that's it. They're going to find you on the yarda with the fucking your hairline all the way back here. Now it's back there. And a 128G this big in your asshole. Period. Now this Valtos acting like he was a key carrier and he did all this on the yard. But I've talked to several individuals that say, no, he was just a good wood. You know, he was just a good wood that functioned, that did his own thing. And I've ran into bottles like that on the yard. Just good, healthy, good people. You can tell, man, they're just doing their own, uh, their own uh, 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 whatever the fuck they're doing, right? They're doing their own little shit, their own program. That's the word I was looking for. I couldn't even say it. They're doing their own program. They're just functioning and doing their thing. Now, if they are called upon, if they have to get in the mix, they probably will get in the mix if they're active. But... Some of these stories he tells leads me to believe, man, that he wasn't always on those type of yards, man. He was on the yards where, yeah, he could he could think he could punk people. And he, could, he said, nobody went outside that door until I went out first. Why? Why? Because you got fucking big traps? Get out of here. Puta, I'm going to go get my fucking egg McMuffin. You know what I mean? Straight up. I need mine. If that mouth, if I was in the dorm with him, look, I'm going to just keep it real. This is, now, this ain't facts. This is just me speaking my perspective. And that mouth will try to tell me, hey, I walk out this door first. I do this first. You don't do nothing. Do you understand the type of pedazo that have been fucking coming out of here that got went in here? Come on, Rod. That about the way to be like this. He'd have been doing the Stevie Wonder with no eyes and can't hear. He'd have been like, uh, 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 because uh, I would have fucking tow his ass up. I'm not playing, man. You know, you would have found him in the back with Big Al talking about Texas barbecue. I'm telling you, I'm not playing. Anyways, when it comes to Wes Watson, he has made a shit ton of money. He deserves everything he gets because he has the gift of gab and he was able to manipulate people into believing it. Hey, I believed it for a long time. Can't lie. Until I seen that video and then, uh-oh, SpaghettiO. I don't believe it no more, right? This is not a slander campaign. This is not to shit on him. This is to have fun. I wanted to do double up and I wanted to bring attention and awareness to Four Finger West because at the same time, those of you individuals that are manipulated by this guy and some of the stories he tells, I feel disrespected. And you should. You know, if you want to talk about bodybuilding, ponle, go. He's the one, right? Fuck, I mean, veins popping out from his earlobes all the way to his chin bone. He can get you there, right? Um, you know, with a little shot, one time for his mind. If you want to talk about mansions, okay, I, I mean, to what degree of uh, green screen he got, I don't know, but the mansion game is real, or the rental of the mansion game is real. If you want to talk about Lamborghinis and, and girls name, uh, you know, wearing thong bikinis, he could probably get you there too. So can I, because I, I have a couple of them, right? I'm just saying though, um, but when it comes to prison and penitentiary talk and things of that nature, that is the last, and I repeat, the last vault that you want to listen to. You fuck around going there and you get whack, fuck, and all kinds of other shit. You know what I mean? Hey, man. Well, I, hey, I want you to, brother. The homeboy Wes said the homeboy. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? Both those are crazy. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move with a purpose. This is a double up. If it's funny, you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I'm going to get a whole bunch of hate. I already know the West Watson team mound up. It was a cold black night. A clear bright moon seeing Wes chewing, <laughs> trying to consume. You already know what it is, man. And Wes, one more word for the wise. Play my boy is 38K. You already know what it is, man. We just saying it like that one time for your mentality. With that being said, move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. And remember, at the end of the day, don't be manipulated by content creators. Some of them are going to give you some bullshit ass lies, man. Or they ask Wes. Ask Wes how much that Mercedes Benz cost. You know, because I asked this chick and she said... He leases it. <laughs> you know, ain't nothing wrong with it, but that's the, that's the truth. Yes, I do. I do correspond. That's the truth. Anyways, if you like it, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears guns crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I honestly and truly believe in, and that's bringing you the best possible content I can. Let's have a little fun. It's jokes, y'all. It's Friday. Be safe, man. Fools are out there getting the smack. The smackulation is real. Bothers are out there getting smacked. Hey, gun, you're jealous. Why don't you get big like Wes? I don't need to be big like Wes. I got a big peep like the gun. Bang, bang. And the winner is.